Yo, what's up guys, it's Inferno. Today I'll be showing you the absolute easiest way to get to the Lost River in Subnautica. So, just getting your steam on. So, before we get started, the Lost River is an end game. I'd say you should go if you're end game, but it's a location in Subnautica that's pretty far away. So, it's a huge like cave system basically. It go it can go really deep. I'm pretty sure up to like 2000 meters deep. So, you want a fully upgraded sea mod. I recommend if you're gonna go really, really far into the, like, the lava zones, then I, re I recommend you bring your cyclops with a prawn suit, but for now I'll just show you how to get inside the lost river. It's actually pretty easy, but so yeah, before we get started, you're gonna want a status rifle. Probably gonna bring a few batteries, maybe some water if you're, not, like, if you're gonna stay there for a while because it's pretty far away but uh yeah and also the mobs this area is very dangerous this area has a leviathan a ghost leviathan um yeah this area has a ghost leviathan it has a lot of different like bad things that you want you're gonna want to worry about so i recommend having like i recommend bringing a few med kits uh yeah let's get into it let's bring a med kit if you're gonna stay there for a while bring the cyclops that's so much better so yeah, from the starting area, I have a marker. Yeah, from the starting area, you want to go about two ticks right of northwest. About two, three ticks right of northwest. So it's close to the mushroom forest biome. What's in the Lost River? So the Lost River has a lot of different things. It has, I think, a research facility. There's an alien research facility, I believe. There's a bunch of uh, these alien buildings. There's the lava zone over there. You go through the lava zone over there. There's nickel. I think there's uranite there too. I'm not too sure. Kyanite. You like pretty much the end game locations are in the Lost River. So yeah, that's why you want to be really prepared because you're gonna find you're gonna like find a lot of like enemies. So if, if you're gonna stay there a while, I recommend bringing your prawn suit and cyclops fully, both of them fully upgraded for the depth meters. Um, what you send me? Oh uh, yeah, you wanna bring food, water. Holy. You wanna bring food, water, probably a few med kits. Um, yeah, food, water, med kits. And the cyclo cyclops, you have lots of storage, so that's pretty much it, but. I recommend bringing batteries too. So yeah, from here, just want to keep going about north northwest. And yeah, if you you know you're going the right way when you see this huge like little cliff thing. So yeah, you just want to keep going down this cliff about about a thousand meters away from the main life pod. Yeah, if you, oh wait, no, I don't know if these are always here. If you see this, then yeah, you're going the right way. This huge huge cliff. It, you, it's just downhill. Oh yeah, over here you get lots of blood oil. I have a tutorial actually. You get lots of blood oil here. But yeah, see we're going pretty deep. This area is... Oh yeah, see you want to watch out for those. These teleporter guys can li literally like... It's weird. Even when you're in the sea mount, you're still not protected. Gonna want to watch out for these. There's blood oil everywhere here. Quartz here too. Just want to keep going down. Oh no, I hate that sound. But yeah, see, once you get to this huge little thing, this opening, you just want to go in this opening. And what I recommend is you stick to the left side. See, it's actually getting pretty hard to go through here now. See, this is where the Cyclops comes in handy because, like, normally you can go down with the Cyclo Cyclops, but. He uses prawn suit too, but man, you wanna, you're gonna want to stick to the complete left side the whole time, cause it's like there's not as many mobs here. You're gonna find a lot of mobs here. Oh yeah, here the thing is, there's lots of uranite here too. So if you ever need uranite, you can go over here. So right now, I think these guys are friendly. Yeah, the <laughs> soundtrack's playing. It's actually sick. So yeah, you can. This place is huge. So I recommend right, putting a beaker right out, a beacon right outside the entrance. This place is pretty huge. You might get lost. You want to watch out for these guys. These guys do lots of damage to you. But yeah, so from here you can just keep going down if you want. 
I'm probably just gonna go like forward. This place is huge. You can get lost easily. So yeah, and we're all, already 700 meters down. So yeah, that's why you want a good uh, upgraded sea moth and everything. Over here is if, if you want to go to the lava zone. Here, I'll just show you really quick. I'll show you how to get back out here too from well this one location, but. So this area is friendly actually, no, nothing over here will hurt you. I think if you go in this gas though, that'll hurt you, but I'm pretty sure there's a nickel down here actually in this gas. But yeah, if you, um, where is it? Oh no, over here, yeah. It's over there, yeah. Yeah, over here, you can go in here, but if you ever need nickel ore, it's all in here. Nothing over here hurts you, these guys are friendly. Yeah. Oh, let me, wait, let me just, yeah, and I think mine is fully upgraded too, so, one sec, let me just, so if you want, you can go down in here, take no damage, there's lots of urine out here, you are going to see nickel here too, yeah, oh wait, that's magnetite, <laughs> Where is the nickel? Oh yeah, these gel sacks are really hard to find, so they ha they have pretty much everything here. Yeah, nickel ore right here. There's nickel, gel sacks, uranite, magnetite, everything is pretty much in this little river. It's a river in a Lydian ocean. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, this area is fun for me. You see this huge tree? I don't know if I can go down there, but... Oh, you want to stay away from that. That does a lot of damage to you. Jeez. This is effect on my screen. But yeah, so over here, down here, if you keep going down there... Jeez, my th I need to repair that thing really quick. I'm just going to try to stay as high as possible. Oh no, I can't. So yeah, if you go over here, so you might think, oh no, it's a dead end, what's the point? But, if you actually, so if you want to go to the end game locations and the lava zone to get kyanite, it's all down here. So all you have to do is just go down there, but you cannot go there with the sea moth. You're going to need a prawn suit. So this is why, oh geez. This is why I recommend bringing a cyclops, because you can bring a cyclops here. It's going to be harder to navigate, but... You should bring your cyclops here, put your prawn suit in it, and then once you get down there, you get your fully upgraded depth um, prawn suit, and you can go all the way down there to the lava zone. That place, I got lost there, so probably going to want to put a beacon and save before you can go in. Oh, I forgot to mention, you, you're you going to want to save before you go in the lost server, because if you get lost, you just quickly exit the game, save scum. Because, yeah, it's easy to get lost here. Holy, what are these effects on my screen? But yeah, nothing over here. When you go into the lava zone, pretty much, like, if, if you even get out of your prawn suit, it's, everything's gonna kill you. But yeah, so, again, you just want to get out of here. Well, you just want to keep going up, basically. See, I have a beacon here, so it's pretty easy for me, but you just want... Jeez, bro. <laughs> yeah, you just want to keep going up, basically. If you see anything going up, then you just want to go there. Like right here. So there are other entrances, but I think this is the easiest one out of all of them. Because the other ones are pretty hard to get to. It's pretty deep, too. So, um, you want if you, you do not want to go in here, I'm pretty sure there's like uranite or something in here. There's something in here, some material inside that gas. The only way you can get in there, though, is if you, you use your prawn suit. If you get in there with, like, just as your player, you're gonna die. You're gonna, you're gonna, take, you're gonna take a lot of damage. So yeah, right now when you're going back, you wanna just stick on the right side. If you go on the left side, I see there's lots more mobs. So you can just keep following the wall. Yeah, if your screen starts going back to normal, you know you're going the right way.
So yeah, this is why I recommend bringing a Cyclops, because if you bring your Cyclops, you can just park it here, or you can keep going down, you can, you can use your prawn suit. But yeah, this place is huge, so you're going to want to save before you enter some ruby quartz. And yeah, so this is the Lost River. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.